guys welcome to our channel today we are going to be discussing pitfalls of online dating you see that while dating online there are some people that get results quickly there are some people that it takes them a few years for them to find the one on the online dating today we are going to be discussing practical pitfalls that will help you to be a little bit patient that will help you to get results and also to help you not to lose hope when the results you're looking for does not seem to come as quick as we need it because sometimes we need our things quick 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 we don't have time we want it we want it to just happen overnight and also we want to enjoy our family to live with the one we fall in love with updating sites to start building a family together so please stay with us if you are new to this channel please subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always supporting us let's go straight into the video the first pitfall of online dating is looking for someone perfect there is no no one perfect even me i'm not perfect you're not perfect no one is perfect we just tend to choose there's a saying that i always say is choose your battle because <laughs> there's no perfect man out there there's no perfect woman out there just choose the person you've decided to deal with all their flaws and just build a family from there because we are all not perfect so please stop looking for someone perfect granted we all have the ideal man we are looking for we all have the ideal way we want him to to appear his color and we want him to be of a certain religion we want him to be of a certain age bracket we want him to talk a certain way we want him to behave a certain way so please a way to help you not be overly strict with your preferences is to have a category of from one to ten list all of the things that are important to you that you want in your life partner ideally from the number the first one being the most important and the tenth one being the least and for example let's say if i'm writing all of the things i want in a man i would say that he has to be a christian because that's important to me that will be the top of my list i would say that he has to be a sincere person he has to be a loving person he has to be of this age gap maybe from 35 to 40 or from 30 to 38 or from 30 to 45 then i would write that he has to be in this country for example if i have a country preference and i can also go ahead to write maybe body's uh, facial appearance he has to be attractive or not so much attractive he has he has to be slim or he has to be tall or short depending on my preference and you know that on this list of what i prefer there are things that are less important for example things like if he's tall or short, okay tall or short can be very important to some people but there are things of being attractive or not because i believe everyone is beautiful so if you're saying it has to be attractive that might not really be something important to some people because for example me i look past your facial appearance i look inwards i look at your qualities your traits do you treat me right are you polite to me are you a loving and affectionate person do you have a forgiving heart will you be a future father figure to my children if we decide to have children those are more important to me than your physical appearance or what you look like so appearance being attractive might be the least on my list and something else that is important to me is being a christian because i want someone that we can pray together we can worship god together we can build a marriage that would involve god being the center of our marriage so because of that being a christian is very important so being a christian will be top on my list so if i'm on online dating searching if i've seen someone that ticks my most important items like he's a christian ticked he's tall ticked because i'm not too tall <laughs> then he's tall ticked he's very sincere loving and kind ticked he's polite and treats me well ticked he's understanding and compassionate ticked then if he's fat or slim that's not really important to me so even if the person i meet can be of different size or cannot be attractive as long as he has ticked all my boxes and then age age is not very important to me you can be any age as long as i feel that you are affectionate i look past your age to me age is just a number so even if he's 30 or he's 65 i don't care so that would be like the ninth or tenth position on my list so please in don't look for someone perfect have this list of what you prefer and when you see someone try to match them against your list if they've scored at least 60 to 70 percent that's more than enough in fact 70 you might not see 70 percent in someone but at least if they've scored above average which is 60 55 65 that's a pass mark for me you can move on from there the second pitfall of online dating is being unrealistic sometimes we want to meet someone today we want him to 
proposed to us next week we want him to come and see us in two weeks we want us to get married in one month we want to move and start a family in three or six months that's just being unrealistic because when you meet someone you don't know their financial circumstances you don't know the circumstances of their job you don't know if they'll be able to come and see you too, because if you are meeting someone outside of your race, that's most likely they will be in a different continent. And traveling from a different continent to come see you will require a lot of process, like applying for visas, like money for flight tickets, arranging the trip, booking hotels and all of that, which costs money. Sometimes they might need time to save. Even those that have a little bit of savings and wouldn't mind coming to see you, right away they will still need time to request for time off work or if they are self-employed they will need time off their business so don't expect them to come see you within the first one or two months allow them time there are some people that would want to come within one month which is rare but please be realistic give have realistic expectation have your give your time yourself time frame in the relationship but don't be unrealistic in your timeline in the relationship be a bit patient not overly patient but please be a bit patient and also on the point of being unrealistic unrealistic might not just be related to timeline unrealistic being unrealistic can relate to their financial circumstances can relate to their age for example if you're dating someone online you know that the most serious people are people from like 35 and above if you're looking for someone in that that is in their mid or late 20s those ones might either not be serious they still want to play around or they don't have the financial capacity to make that huge commitment or to come visit you and to come get married to you. So please be realistic also in the type of person you're chatting with. The next pitfall of online dating is playing with other people's emotions. There are some ladies or men that go online, they are chatting with like three, four, five different people at the same time. That's playing with a lot of people's emotions because at the end of the day, you won't have time to have quality conversations with each of them you keep forgetting things you keep asking them what they've told you already for example if you're speaking to three four people someone told you their birthday is in is 12th of april the other person told you their birthday is 13th of september because you're speaking to like four or five different people at the same time you end up forgetting important occasions and that they will then see you as not being serious so ideally if you're online it's good to talk to one or two people just to because you don't know who is serious but when the relationship has started you will know when someone is a bit more serious then stop talking to the other people concentrate on the relationship that is moving forward that way you know you're giving your 100 percent to that relationship i'm not saying that just be exclusive to someone when at least they've not come to see you or they've not made plans on coming to see you but once someone has come to see you and you know that they are taking the relationship to the next level please stop talking to other people and concentrate on that relationship because at least he has made effort to come see you he's moving the relationship to the next stage another pitfall of online dating is expecting instant results please don't expect instant results like me for instance i first joined dating sites in 2016 and before i got married off dating sites was like is it six or five years later that's because i'm not saying everybody's journey is different there are people that found love in their first month of online dating there are people that found love in their second month or six months of online dating but please don't expect instant results when you start talking to someone don't pressure them immediately after one or two weeks that when are you coming to see me remember at that stage they are still trying to get to know you the decision of getting married to someone is not a decision you will take overnight so even for the men they still want to be sure you are the kind of woman that they will want as the mother of their children you are the kind of woman they will want to wake up next to on their bed every day for the rest of their life so please be a bit patient don't expect them to make decisions immediately and also why not expecting them to make decisions immediately know when to call it off know when some, someone is taking unnecessarily too long if you've been with someone for six months that's more than enough time for them to plan on seeing you and if they are not talking about seeing you or moving the relationship to the next level it's time to end it and look for someone else the next pitfall of online dating is giving up too easily we know that if you can if you're on online dating it can be really mentally draining and time consuming the advice i will give to you is if you're on online dating searching for love try to have at least two three different apps that you're actively searching on so for example you can have afro introduction you can have afro romance you can have interracial dating central you can be on bardo or all of these dating sites 
start sending messages to people start receiving messages and engaging because sometimes if you're screen on afro and from the last time you checked there is no new message you can go to the next dating site that you have a profile on probably you have messages there that you need to respond to so have at least two or three dating sites that you have profiles on that way you won't feel overwhelmed and discouraged because if you're not receiving messages on one you can be receiving messages on the other and that way you end up not giving up too easily because you can meet people from each of these dating apps and from there you can find your true love from one the next pitfall of online dating is not responding to messages that's another huge mistake that you can make because you're on there to search for love try at least every day to just log in even if you're not chatting just log in to see if you've got messages because most of these apps don't send instant push notifications to the phone and if you don't log in you might end up missing some messages so if you try every day to log in just to see if you've got messages and if you've got messages respond as soon as you can because when men are on there searching for the one if they can send messages to three five different people at the same time and it's the person that respond as soon as possible that they can start communicating ideally maybe move on to whatsapp and start the conversation from there so if they've sent you a message and you're responding three weeks later when they've already found someone they are trying to build a relationship with that means you've ruined your chances of having a relationship with that person because if they're already committed to someone else they might not want to respond to your message or move the relationship to the next level and sometimes if you're on online dating it has happened to me a couple of times while i was online dating i'll say that by the time i log in the person that sent me a message has already deleted their profile they'll tell you sorry this person is no longer on the profile or sorry this profile has been disabled that means that person must have found someone else and they've decided to delete their app and concentrate on that relationship they found offline and because it took me a while for me to check and respond i've ruined that chance of building something with that person so please not responding to, responding to message can lead to you not finding the one as fast as you would have. the next pitfall of online relationship is taking it too seriously we know you're trying to meet the one you're trying to build a relationship what don't build castles in the air. It's not when someone starts talking to you, you've done video call, you see how cute they are looking or how beautiful she's looking. You start imagining yourself getting married to them, having families with them. And God forbid, when something bad happens, let's say the person stops talking to you or the person becomes cold or just block you out of, for no reason, you feel like your world wants to end. So please don't take it too seriously until the, you've at least met the person and you've started taking, moving your relationship to the next stage still see it like it's something you're still building and please don't invest all of your heart into it until it has moved to the next stage another pitfall of online dating is seeing it as a destination we know that our goal for online dating should be to find the one we love fall in love get married move together start a family together but don't see online dating as a destination see it as a process see it as you transitioning into the next stage of your life that's when you get married see it like you building a future together you building a family together with that person when you move together you still need to contribute your own efforts in any way you can towards the growth of that family towards building wealth towards building your family's future together so don't see it as a destination just see it as a process and you transitioning into the next phase of your life which is starting a family and building life together the last and final pitfall of online dating is not being clear on what you want always have a goal always have your plan for online dating have it like for example my plan for online dating was to have a family get married and build life together that was my plan so because i had a plan when i met people that were asking for inappropriate pictures i didn't send it because i saw that this person does not fit into my future plan so please have a plan when you see someone that is serious with you that does not ask for nude pictures that is seriously talking about meeting you you will know but if you go into online dating without any plans any goals you will fall into the wrong hands without even realizing because you don't have any plan and you're just going with the flow thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video please give it thumbs up leave a comment so we can keep creating more content like this and if you're new to this channel please subscribe thank you so much bye